Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will talk about Gemini, which is originally Google Assistant with Bard. I have it here on my 8 Pro to show you what it can and cannot do. I will also show you how you can get it up and running outside the US, which is the only supported country for now. But before starting, let me tell you that I'm not filming this video from my main studio, so don't expect the same quality as always. And please accept my apology for this. And now let's dive into Gemini and put it into action. First, let's start by how you can get it up and running outside the US. Thankfully, it's a very simple process. All you need to do is to download the APK from APK Mirror. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And it's a normal APK that you can download and install without the help of any third-party apps. And now let's take a look at how it works. If you have a Pixel phone, once you install the app, it will replace your Google Assistant and you can trigger it exactly the same way by pressing and holding the power button. Use the magic word or the diagonal swipe from the corners. On any other Android, you can install the app on Android 12 or later with at least four gigabytes of RAM. On iOS devices, you will find the Gemini tab inside the Google app itself. Now let me give you a quick tour on how it works. Once you activate it, it will give you the option to speak immediately, exactly the same way as Google Assistant. You can use the keyboard. You can tap the camera button to attach a photo to your command and it will give you different zoom levels, 0.5x, 1x, or 3x. Once you snap the shot, it will attach it to the command like this. And when you trigger it inside apps, it will give you a button at the top called add this screen, which will do exactly the same thing. It will take a screenshot and attach it to the command so you can ask about something very specific. And now let's put it into action with some commands to see how far it can go. Let's start with the commands related to traveling, which is one of the best use cases for AI chatbots. Show me the flights to Spain, the best things to do, the best time to visit, and the average hotel prices. First, it took relatively a long time to show me the results, but it has plenty of information. Starting with the best time to visit Spain, it's either in the spring, early summer, or autumn, and these are the dates. Then we have information about the flights, then the hotels, and the best things to do in Spain. So it provided me with all the information I asked for. And when I scroll down, I get even more, like the prices per flight, the airline name, with the ability to tap on any of these links to book my flight. Same for hotels, plus I have the ability to check the photos for each hotel with the prices, and tapping on any of these uh, cards will take you right away to the booking website. Then we have some action buttons, so let's go through them. First, you have the ability to give a quick feedback using the thumbs up and thumbs down. This Google button will allow you to validate the credibility of the information you see in Gemini by giving you some search queries that you can jump to right away inside Google search to validate the results. And I took a screenshot earlier from the tutorial I got when I first used the app. It says here, this button helps you assess the credibility of Gemini's statements by using Google search. Then we have here the share button, which will allow you to share the text with anyone and this is how it looks then we have the option to copy only and when you tap on the ellipses you get multiple options like the ability to export to google docs export to gmail create a public link or change the draft so if you don't like the way the information is organized you can change uh, the draft here is the currently used one and you can choose draft number two this is how it looks. This one has more photos. And then we have draft number three and four. If you didn't like any of them, you can request to regenerate a new set of results, or you can tap on use this and it will update the draft for you. It's also worth mentioning that all the export options in this menu are broken for now. So for example, when I try to export to Google Docs, all I'm getting is a blank document. So let me show you how it looks. I'm getting just a blank page with nothing in it. And the same applies to export to Gmail. When I tap on open, I'm just getting a blank email. Nothing I can do with it. You can create a public link and you can choose some options for your link. You can give it a headline and you can edit this headline the way you want. Then you have the ability to generate different headlines if you want, and these are the different options that you can choose from before sharing and then create 
public link and you can share it right away from here. And on top of this, if you don't want to read the results yourself, you can scroll all the way up and tap on the speaker button and this will allow Gemini sure. to read it for you. Here's a glimpse of what Spain has to offer. Best time to visit. Pleasant weather and fewer crowds. Spring, April to... And then you can tap on pause once you are done. And finally, we have this expandable menu which will show you the sources, but sometimes it fails to query the results from certain websites. And in this case, you might need to tap on try again without extensions to solve this problem, but it doesn't always work based on my experience. I also tried other commands related to the traveling and navigation, and all of them gave me accurate and useful results. So definitely Gemini is a very good option for this type of questions. And now let's move on to the next one. Another useful way to use Gemini is to generate photos. So let's try a couple of commands. Generate a photo to represent leadership for my presentation. Here are the results and you can tap on generate more if you don't like any of the uh, provided options and it will try to match your needs. And here is another one added. And when you tap on any of the photos, you can tap on the download button to save it locally on your device or tap on share and send it the way you want. Or you can use it to generate a wallpaper for your phone. So let's try another command. Generate a photo of a castle made of cardboard. And here are the options provided, which are not too bad. Now let's try some commands that can help you manage your emails and work. The first thing you can do is to search for any type of emails in a matter of seconds. So let me show you how it works. Show me all the emails from Fitbit in my inbox. The best part about this feature is the ability to see the email messages and also a quick summary about them. So for example, it categorized the emails based on the subject and each subject has an explanation about what's included. So for example, these emails contain your weekly progress reports from Fitbit. They include information about your steps, sleep, heart rate, and other activity data. Same for the second and third subjects. And when you scroll down, you can see the email messages and you can tap on any of them to open it in Gmail. And you can tap on show more to see the full list of items. You can also use it to create templates. So let's try the second question. Create a cover letter template for a customer service manager job. So here is the result and I think it did an amazing job. It started with the contact details, the hiring manager, then the email buddy. I read it myself and I think it covers pretty much everything I wanted to say in my cover letter. So you can pause the video and read it yourself. And when you scroll down further, you can see some other useful tips to make it even better. You can even use it to write emails from scratch. So let's give it a try. Write an email to help desk to report an issue with the admin panel. It loads a blank page. In this scenario, I wanted to report an issue with the admin panel I use at work, and it did really well. Starting from the subject, it matches the issue. Then we have the opening, the troubleshooting steps, and some information about the browser and operating system names and versions. Number four is to get help with whatever you see on the screen. As an example, I have a photo for this place and I want to know more information. I can use Gemini to achieve this. But the first thing you need to do is to tap on add this screen to take a screenshot from the image and then start saying the command. What's the name of this place? The image you sent me is of the Ain Dubai Ferris wheel located on Blue Waters Island in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. You also have the ability to modify the response to make it longer or shorter. So when you tap on the ellipses, then modify response, you have shorter, longer, simpler, more casual, or more professional. You can also use it to summarize articles on the web. And this is one of the exclusive features to the Pixel 8 models in certain regions. But if you managed to get Gemini up and running on your Android phone, you can do the same thing. So let me show you how it works. First, you need to tap on add this screen and then say the word summarize to Gemini. Summarize. So here is the summary that includes the most important information in the article. But unfortunately, I didn't find an option to modify the response to make it longer or shorter like what we got with the previous command. But at least we have the feature now. 
I also tried it with other things like plants and pets and it provided me with useful information as shown now on the screen. So you have endless number of commands to use with this feature. And the last category I have is general commands. So let's give it a try. Give me the code to create a list in HTML. As shown in this example, you can use it to create code snippets and copy it to your clipboard right away, or maybe give it an image with a code and ask for explanation, which is very useful. Or you can use it to explain any random thing that comes to your mind. Explain what the operating system kernel is in simple terms. And here is how it works. So these are the commands related to Gemini, but you can also use it as a normal Google Assistant for basic things like setting timers, managing your smart home devices, navigate to a place or send a message, and it works exactly the same way. So let me show you a couple of examples. Set a timer for five minutes. Second timer for five minutes, starting now. In this case, you will see the Assistant logo next to Gemini because now it's using the assistant on your device. But when you ask different queries, as I showed you earlier, you won't see the same icon. So far, everything works great, but I came across some issues that are worth noting. The first one is it doesn't support continued conversations. So for example, when I ask about the weather, I have to tap on the mic one more time to ask a follow-up question. So if you got used to this feature, you will be a bit disappointed. Secondly, it doesn't work with identifying clothes. Every time I give it a photo of a person, it says, sorry, I can't help with images of people yet because it doesn't understand that my query is about the clothes, not the person. In contrast, when I use Google Lens, it can do this just fine and it takes a couple of seconds. Third, Gemini is not as accurate as Google Lens in identifying products in general. For example, I give it a photo of a massage device, but the results I'm getting are hair dryers. While Google Lens was able to identify the product just fine and provided me with the exact results. Number four, every time I want to query about something on the screen, I have to attach it first, which takes a long time. I hope Google will allow it to see what's on the screen without the need to tap a button. Last but not least, the gap between finishing the command and starting the processing takes a very long time, and I think it should be much shorter. Now let's end this video by talking about the app settings, and there are some useful things you can do. First, when you go to Gemini settings and then digital assistance from Google, here you can choose between the normal Google Assistant or Gemini in case you don't like the new Assistant. Any chat that you shared as a public link as I showed you earlier, you can find its link under the Your Public Links page. And from here you can delete any link you shared before. And in this case, when the recipient opens the link, it will give a message that this link doesn't exist and they will no longer have access to the chat. Under languages, when you tap on add the language, you will find plenty of options to choose from. It seems like Google is expanding Gemini in a very fast pace. There is also an option under settings called Google Assistant features in Gemini, and you have the ability to turn off any Google Assistant features when you use Gemini by turning off the switch. But keep in mind, when you do this, every time you say a normal Google command, like set a timer for five minutes, for example, it will not allow you to do so. From this page, you can also modify your Google Assistant settings as usual, but the list is much shorter than the other one we have in the normal Google Assistant. Also here you have the quick phrases in a separate menu instead of showing under the Google Assistant settings. Moving to the profile menu and here you will find some options like the Gemini apps activity. And here you can check all the activities you've done with Gemini. Then you have the extensions. And from here you can include or exclude any of the extensions like Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps, Google Workspace, and finally YouTube. And you have a toggle for each one. Then you have the option to check what's new in Gemini by going to updates and it will show you all the new features per version. So that's pretty much it for today. That's everything I wanted to show you about Gemini. And please let me know in the comments if you tried any useful commands so I can add to my list. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.